Welcome to the Double E Cup Series Season 5. We're at Texas Motor Speedway in Fort Worth, Texas for race number two of this still young season. 27 of NASCAR's best set or set their sights on this mile and a half high banked, high speed quad oval racetrack and they will try to win the second race of the season. Will it be a rookie like Kyle Larson or Austin Dillon like it was in the first race or will it be a veteran who takes the win today? Well, let's find out. Let's look at our starting lineup. On the pole is Joey Logano in the 22 and Jeff Gordon. Then in row two, we have Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick. And then in row three, we have Brad Keselowski and Kyle Busch. Then in row four, we have Matt Kenseth and Tony Stewart. And then rounding out the top 10 is our first winner of the season was Kyle Larson and another rookie, Austin Dillon. And then in row six, we got Ryan Newman and Greg Biffle. And then we have Danica Patrick and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Back in row eight, we have Clint Boyer and Marcos Ambrose. And then we have Carl Edwards and Paul Menard, along with Jamie McMurray and Eric Almarola. And then we have Denny Hamlin and Kurt Busch. And then we have Casey Mears in the 13 and Brian Vickers in the 55. And then towards the back, we got Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Casey Kane. And rounding it out is the 21 car of Trevor Bain. That's your 27 car field for today's race as the field will begin their pace laps as they leave the pit road. Here's your race info. It's 10 laps, 27 cars, and it's a mile and a half, high banked, high speed, quad oval like I said. And here we go. Green flag is in the air now for Joey Logano as we are underway in race two. They ought to head on if, off into turn one and two. Coming off, looks like Jimmy Johnson will take second from Gordon. And now he's going to look at the lead for from Joey Logano as they come off of turn four. Logano slips up the racetrack a little bit and Jimmy Johnson will lead lap one. Jeff Gordon now trying to take second place away from Logano as they head off the back stretch. Logano gets that good drive off. They're gonna head on into turn three. Ooh, a little nudge there from Jeff Gordon. And Logano with a nice job of saving it as we get in the third lap. There's trouble now in turn four. Paul Menard is around and it looks like Eric Almarola is involved as well as both cars hit the outside wall hard. As our first caution of the day is out on lap three. Let's see what happened. Looks like Almarola got into Menard, got him out of shape. And he cut right back up across both of them. And uh, they both hit that outside wall really hard. Damage on the front of Menard's car and Eric Almarola as they will both be out of the race here. Only a couple laps in. Everyone else will get ready to restart here on lap number five. Jimmy Johnson is your leader. His teammate Jeff Gordon to his outside. Green flag is back out into the air. And here they get crazy three wide on back here as they get on this restart. They come off a turn two. Trouble, Kyle Busch collects Kevin Harvick. Seven, eight cars involved as they all stack up there in turn two. The red flag is immediately out for our second wreck of the day. And it looks like eight, at least eight cars involved here down the back stretch at the exit of turn two here as several really good race cars. Most of them were inside the top ten. You see Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson involved. We got Austin Dillon. Ryan Newman, Brad Keselowski, Kevin Harvick. You saw Danica Patrick and then Tony Stewart all involved here and collected on the back straightaway. We're not even quite halfway through this race and we have a red flag out. See on the replay, it looked like Kyle Busch came up into Harvick there. They were running fourth and fifth. Busch maybe thought he was clear or Harvick got a run. I couldn't tell. And they collected each other. Let's look at it one more time in super slow-mo. Yeah, no matter what their stories were, you could tell the 18 came up across the nose of the four car and then they just stacked up everyone. Good job by Greg Biffle and Dale Earnhardt Jr. to just basically stop and let some of the carnage unfold in front of them. You saw Danica get hit, got hit by Marcos Ambrose from behind. That's how she got collected in this one. But a lot of good race cars tore up here. Tony Stewart, you see. Kevin Harvick, a couple of teammates right there. As there's the guys that escaped that wreck. The others like Danica Patrick, you see there, are Kyle Larson were not quite so lucky. See Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, a lot of good cars taken out right here. As the red flag has now been lifted, there's everyone who is involved in this crash. You see Marcos Ambrose, the nine car, he's on pit road. He had a little bit of damage from when he made contact with Danica, but he'll be able to continue. He'll be in the back though. As there's Revan will restart here. We will be on lap seven. Jimmy Johnson still leads. Green flag back out in the air. Ooh. Joey Logano did not get a very good restart from the third spot. He falls back to fifth. Matt Kenseth takes third. Biffle moves to fourth. As up front, it's the Hendrick teammates. Jeff Gordon giving a good battle to Jimmy Johnson. Johnson drives in hard, but he gets a little loose off of turn four, and he's going to lose the lead for the first time today. Jeff Gordon is your new leader on lap eight. So you see Jeff Gordon leads. Jimmy Johnson is second. Matt Kenseth third with Greg Biffle in the fourth. As they head out on the backstretch, Joey Logano has secured his position in fifth. 
As you see them come down here to complete the eighth lap, there's trouble again in turn four. Jamie McMurray spins, and he collects Casey Mears down at the bottom of the exit of turn four. And our third caution of the day is out now on lap eight. Quick look at the replay. It looked like Denny Hamlin looked like he snapped loose, got up into the left rear of McMurray, and Casey Mears had nowhere to go. Hard hit for both drivers, as they also will be out of the race early. And we've had a lot of cars tore up here today. You only got about 15 left in the race. They only started with 27, but they will be ready for a green-white checkered. We're going to restart with two laps to go. Jeff Gordon leads him down. Oh, and he gets a terrible restart. He spins the tires big time. Jimmy Johnson takes the lead. Matt Kenseth moves into second. Greg Biffle to third. As Jeff Gordon did not get going on that restart, he falls back to fourth. As up front, it's Jimmy Johnson trying to hold off Matt Kenseth. Greg Biffle is there as well as they're going to come down and take the white flag. Final lap is in the air here. Johnson tries to put a block on Kenseth, but he gets nudged out of the way. Kenseth has his nose in there. They head on the back stretch with half a lap to go. Kenseth and Johnson. Biffle makes it three wide as they head into three and four. Matt Kenseth on the outside. Here comes Jimmy Johnson, but it won't be enough. Matt Kenseth wins at Texas Motor Speedway. And a crazy final lap and a half, two laps of restart here. As you saw them coming by, three wide there, heading into the final two turns. Jimmy Johnson, Greg Biffle. They had Matt Kenseth in between them. Kenseth has the preferred line. You see Johnson go way up high. He gets a big run off. And almost, he got around Biffle, almost got to Matt Kenseth, but it wasn't quite enough as Matt Kenseth was able to beat them both to the line. And he celebrates his first win of the season. Congratulations to Austin McLean and Matt Kenseth for the hard-fought victory here today at Texas. As an exciting final restart. Ended up being the deciding factor in this one. As here's your final results. Austin McLean, you see, win the race. Uh, the 48 car LJT 2003 with a good finish. You saw Uncle Fat Sack in the 24 car spun his tires on that final restart and that cost him any chances he had at a victory he finished his fourth gaming ninja 07 he won the first race of the season he was caught up in that big wreck on lap five and he finished 19th and then you see the rest of the standings there here are your point standings now after only two races uh the 20 car austin mclean is off to a really good start he has had two top fives including a win here to start the season so he's got a little bit of a lead but you see all the other points are really stacked up tight so, uh, other, with the exception of the first to second place gap, everyone else is pretty tightly knit together. A lot of ties. So definitely a good and intense points battle right now. We're still early in the season. We still got several races to go. And uh, a lot of things can happen between now and then. Race number three from Kansas will be coming soon in the next couple of weeks. So look forward to that. If you haven't already, check out the NASCAR parody videos that are also on this channel. There will be some new ones coming out eventually. And uh, please subscribe for more NASCAR and more fun videos. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's race.